Seth here with the Ranch Athletics Tip of the Week. Today I wanted to talk about increasing your VO2 max through high, in high intensity interval training and why we use that for our endurance athletes. So if I have an athlete that's trying to compete at a marathon, 50K, 100 miler, it doesn't matter, we use, have them do short intervals ranging from about five seconds to 30 seconds, all out efforts with a ton of rest, even though they're trying to go for a long distance. And the reason we do this is because when we train for long endurance events, we have to increase our VO2 max, or basically how efficient our system runs. And when we do aerobic training, we're increasing the heart rate, our, our overall heart rate, our contractile force of the heart, and how much volume we can actually pump through. And this is great for increasing the VO2 max, and it's done through aerobic training, slower training like that. But the part that we're not looking at or hasn't been considered is that you could put all this blood through the system and pump it more efficiently, but how well is your body uptaking that nutrient or the oxygen, right? And the way to increase that the best or the fastest is through strength training and high intensity intervals, those real short bursts of all out efforts. But what it does is increase the mitochondria or basically the density of the cell. And now we're able to pull from the blood and actually use that to increase our VO2 max. So you've got two different things going on, your cardiac output and then how well you uptake the nutrients and the oxygen. So throw those short intervals, they're necessary. I don't care how far or how long you're trying to run. Why waste your time doing one without increasing the efficiency of the other? So it doesn't need to be done a whole lot. One time a week with your regular training, go do, like I said, five to 30 second all out intervals or hill repeats, things like that. Just maximum output with about four to five times the rest on that and you'll help with that uh, cellular density.